Hope you are enjoying your um, camp over weekend so far. Um, this is just a quick video on um, how to do some camp gadgets at home with whatever you have got in the house. Um, so I'm going to go through a few different options, um, different stages um, for rainbows, brownies, guides, rangers um, and whoever wants to take part. Um, so for those of you that don't know, a camp gadget is something that we normally make when we are camping. Things like in our guide group, we um, make draining boards that we can wash up on. They're normally made out of um, twigs with or sticks, sorry, with rope. Um, and then they can be built up, loads of different options. Um, if you Google camp gadgets, loads of different bits and pieces will come up. Um, but I'm just going to show you a few examples of little ones that you can do at home this weekend. Um, so yeah, one example is um, that you may have seen before, you can build camp gadgets up with spaghetti and um, marshmallows. So one thing that we can do is, this is quite a nice one, no sort of um, knot work involved. Um, so you can get your marshmallows, a couple of them, and you can get your spaghetti and you can build um, different things so just snap it to whatever size that you want and then you can just pop it in so I've got a couple here and then you can just pop them in and you can just start building whatever sort of structure you want to build so if I put another little one in here we've got our first little triangle you can then, these are some I made earlier, you could then build it up to some more ones like this, um, which are great ones, sort of things that you might have around in the house. Again, use whatever you've got. For example, you might have some sweets that you can use instead of marshmallows, or if you're feeling healthy, you could use some fruit and veg um, and sort of stab the items into them. So that's a great one there. Um, and then you could also try maybe like hanging things down, creating little bits and bobs. If you really wanted to, um, for someone who fancies up for a challenge, you can go a bit more advanced. So this is one that I really enjoyed making earlier. Ta-da! This is, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna pull it back, there you go. This is a little rope swing that I've created. So to begin with, again, just the marshmallows, and I've built it up. It's a little bit wonky, as you can tell. Um, and then, what I've done is another thing you can do, which I'll show you in a minute, you could use things like breadsticks and strawberry laces. Again, my knot work is not the best here, but don't worry about that, don't look up close. I've also then got some little jelly babies, so if you've got little people that you could draw, and then I've got my little jelly baby on the swing. He does tend to fall off at the moment, I'm yet to work out that, out, that problem. Ooh. And then my string, but yeah. And you can go as advanced or as simple as you like. Oh, there he goes. See? Bit of a wonky swing, but that doesn't matter. So we're going with that. So yeah, this is another one that you could go for, which is great fun to build. You could build bridges, um, various things. Again, like I said, if you Google camp gadgets, there's so many options out there of different sort of ones that we would do on a camp or different ones that people are doing at home whilst we are not um, camping properly at the moment. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, you could use um, breadsticks, ta-da, or similar, I've seen loads of different ones um, that you can use, or again, if you don't have food options, if you've got um, just like standard skewers and things like that, um, and then you can get your strawberry laces and build some other bits, so for example, this is another one that I built earlier, oh my jelly babies, um, this is a little raft, um, and I've got two people on here. So again, I'm not going to go into like the knot details. Um, if you wanted to, I know on the sort of resources, some knots were suggested, but I'm probably not the best person to try and show you that on camera. Um, so you can Google them, video them, or just do your best. Um, it doesn't really matter. But for example, this is a similar, I sort of already knew these knots because this is what we do for the um, draining boards at camp. Although my it is more tricky using um, strawberry laces than normal string, as you may anticipate. But this is a little raft that my two little jelly baby men are going on adventures on. Again, what you could try and do is build these with actual um, sticks and um, 
string and then you could try and build a great raft that you could actually float in like a washing up bowl outside um, and see if you can actually make a raft that floats with your little men on it and doesn't sink. Um, so that's a great challenge there. And again, those are really good to build loads of different ones, different structures and things like that. So that's another suggestion that I've got there. And one of the last ones, again, like I said, people might not have food around. Um, so you can always use things like pens, felt tips. Pencils are a good one because they're a bit longer and a bit less difficult but I didn't have any to hand um, so I have just used pens that I had and felt tips around the house. Um, so one thing that I saw that I really wanted to try out was they had, um, I found a little one for a sort of mini catapult so I'm just going to show you how to build that now um, and again these are with elastic bands which is a great option if you are not wanting to do loads of string and tying and knots. Um, so one thing I did was I just got three felt tips and I just put some elastic bands around them and then I've got a little teaspoon you can use a plastic one I didn't have a plastic one so I've just got one of these ones whatever you've got to hand or something that you could pop like a little thing in to fling it off later so um, onto that I'm just going to put the elastic band there's no sort of real method just pop it on there which is why it's a great one so you're just trying to connect it oh again some of my elastic bands are not the highest of qualities so they are snapping but that doesn't matter I've got plenty here and there we go I just put a couple on you can put as many on as you want just to make sure it's nice and secure and then what we want we need another two felt or three felt tips actually, sorry. So we're gonna attach one on here. So you know the, what I'll do, I'll just put it on. They're flinging off everywhere. So I'll put another couple on. But again, take your time. I'm just quickly doing this for you now. And then another one on this side. I just think it's quite a nice, ooh quick option so it doesn't have to be perfect with the elastic bands there we go they do move around a bit so you just have to work with them but you get there in the end and then your last one um, is just putting it here so you've got a little square behind your spoon so with another few elastic bands I'm running out, they're all breaking on me. We will get there, we will get there. <clears throat> and again, just use, I've seen lots of little catapult or fun um, gadget designs with um, lolly sticks, um, which is a good one. Again, I just didn't happen to have any lolly sticks to hand. Um, or cocktail sticks. That's another one where people have done sort of cocktail sticks and bits of fruit and veg. Um, to create little designs so there's loads of different options so everyone should sort of have a few bits in the house that you can use for this so i've now got it here so you can see you've just got the four bits like that again it does wobble around a bit don't worry too much doesn't have to be perfect um and then i've just got one last elastic band that's a little bit bigger and i just need to sort of give this a bit more oomph so it will fly the little jelly baby man that I'm going to pop on in a moment um, so I'll just I'll put it on and then I'll show you it's easier once I've put it on again I hope this is one of those moments where I practiced it earlier so I hope it's going to go to plan now but we, we shall see okay cool so again I've just what I've done around here is just pop it around one end and popped it around the other end again don't think it really needs to be perfect just so that it goes across this um, bit of the spoon to give it a bit of a woo and I think you can just put more elastic bands on and that creates more tension um, so that you can things will go further and you can move this spoon around a bit as well so whatever works for you again it's like life telly isn't it could all go wrong. Cool, so I've got my little design here. 
I've got um, the spoon bit, so I want to put that over the edge of the table. If you've used a plastic spoon, you might not have that bit there, so because you can have that bit removed, so whatever works. But I'm going to have it over the edge of the table. I'm going to get my little jelly baby man. And then you need to just hold it. See if I can. There we go. Hold it so that you're not going to lose it. And then you just need to bring your spoon back, pop your man in, and fling him off. That wasn't the best one, but... I tried earlier and you can get a real good one. Let me see if I can. Oh, okay. Let me try this one. I think it might be better if you bring your spoon further down. Here we go. It's one, two, three. <laughs> there we go. But um, yeah, try around with it, play around loads and you can get sort of different ones, different spoons, fly it sort of further. Um, whatever you fancy but yeah I hope that's given you some good ideas on making your own camp gadget um, please share what you get up to with your units and the leaders and everything and have some fun hope you enjoy